Hi everyone, uh, today we're going to take a look at how to put the crampons on and how to fix them properly. Uh, they are going to be really important for us on the glacier, so we want them fitting our boots properly. Um, we need to tell, of course, first of all, if this is the left or the right crampon and it's very easy we want the strap always on the outside of the crampon so we know this is our left one then of course we have the front we have the back and we can start so we start by putting the crampon on the floor or on the ground and we look at these two metal bolts right here at the end of the crampon and it's really important that we place the back of our heel in between them we can also have, depending on what uh, footwear we're wearing, we can have the back of our heel against them, but we don't want to end up with the back of our heel on top of them. Um, we can also uh, open the metal loop in the, in the front, the metal loop in the end, and we can start by putting uh, gently our, the back of our heel right in the middle and slide it until it's against the two metal bolts or in between, and only then we put pressure or weight on the crampon. If you end up with something like this, so uh, the boot or the shoe is not inside, we can actually apply pressure with our hands and make and making sure we have a snug fitting to the crampon. Then we close the back, uh, we close the plastic loop on our boot. We do the same with the back, and we start working with the strap. So we fit the strap through the plastic loop in the front. We make sure that the strap is tidy and straight. There's no need to pull or to tighten it now, but we want to avoid having, having any strap, any twist right now. We do the same here, basically making sure there are no twists. And now as I am holding the strap with one hand, with the other one, I grab the two metal rings and I feed the strap through the two metal rings and I feed it through both. No twist all over, so I'm good to go. I can open the two metal rings like a book and I refeed the strap through the metal ring with the plastic tag, creating a locking system. Now the crampon is almost done. I only need to tighten it and I can start from the very beginning and I will transfer the slack through the system until I can pull this one here, making it all tight. So pull up, transferring the slack, and I can gently pull. And I repeat it twice, at least, so I can get it really tight. There you go. Now, all I'm left to do is take, take care of this extra strap, and I can either fold it and tuck it inside my socks. And this is gonna keep the strap out of my way for the whole day. Or I can simply tie a knot around the crampon, making sure I'm tying this knot on the outside of the crampon. So it's not gonna be in my way. And it's just one of those simple knots. This is the perfect fitting for a crampon and we're ready to go.